Yesterday, the Corpus Christi radar site went down for maintenance and it's going to stay down until about March the 23rd. What that means is that we're going to be getting radar data from the sites that are surrounding the coastal bend, primarily from Brownsville and New Braunfels. Both of those are about 150 miles away and that's about as far as radar can see. So we're going to be on the fringes of both of these radar sites. And what that means for us is that radar accuracy is not going to be that great for the next couple of weeks. Normally we sample these rain showers or storms right at the base of the clouds and we get a good idea of where they're located, what the rain falling from them looks like, if it's heavy, if it's light, lightning, things like that. It's more accurate, but as we are Heading into the next few weeks again, we're going to be getting the data from Brownsville and San Antonio and as that radar beam goes out, it's going up at a slight angle, meaning that when the beam gets 150 miles away or so and it enters our area, we're sampling the atmosphere from two or three miles up. That could mean that there is some light rain up there, but it's evaporating before it makes it to the ground, so it would look a lot rainier than it actually is, or it could look quiet and miss shallow activity. So it's not going to be very easy to tell where rain is and where it is not. Case in point, radar from New Braunfels and Brownsville showing some light precip working through. However, I would say that given the setup that it's not going to be that much rain that we see. Yes, light patchy rain is going to be floating around out there, but I don't think it's going to be continuous rain like the radar is suggesting. Airports reporting just cloudy skies, no rain, 67 degrees there, and that temperature mimicked across a lot of the area, mid to upper 60s, low 70s for some places. Light wind out of the southeast at five miles per hour. There is some light patchy fog, but nothing is dense or hazardous out there here this morning. It's a little weak front in northeastern Texas. That thing's just going to clip that part of the state, 50 in Dallas, but now that front's not going to work farther south here as it moves off to the east. We're watching something out in the Pacific Ocean, a little upper atmosphere disturbance. This will be a slow mover getting into the Baja Peninsula Thursday, desert southwest Friday, and then it makes a jaunt over north Texas here on Saturday. It'll send a weak front into central Texas. At this point, it's a weak system too far north, and I don't think that that front makes it as far south as the coastal bend. So for the rest of spring break here, patchy light rain possible today. Otherwise cloudy. Sunniest day of the week will be tomorrow, but it'll still be partly cloudy. And then back to the more clouds than sunshine type of weather for Thursday through the weekend ahead. And temperatures will be warm inland, but still close to 70 at area beaches. Mid 60s this morning mid to upper 70s this afternoon. Check out the beach. You see this little layer of gray. That's some sea fog that may hang out over the barrier islands. It'll be about 10 degrees cooler at the beach than it will be in town and farther to the west. Another round of mid 60s tonight and then back into the mid 80s here for some tomorrow with a little bit more sunshine. Keep in mind at the beach, sea fog may sock in some of those coastal locations, keeping it rather cloudy and a lot cooler. 78 for today, patchy light rain, otherwise mostly cloudy skies tonight. Some patchy fog, mostly cloudy rain chances will be going down tomorrow, partly cloudy and probably the sunniest day of spring break, a high of 81 degrees. Temperatures stay near 80 with cloudier conditions returning Thursday through the weekend. John Thomas Barbie.